Bulgarian and U.S. soldiers are receiving realistic combat training, augmented with high-tech equipment as part of Joint Task Force East. Some of the units rotating through JTF East in 2009 are training for future combat operations in Afghanistan. Well, we're supposed to be going to Afghanistan sometime next year, and uh, you know we're uh, doing training right now. We're ending on uh, on getting us ready to do that. Oh, it, it's you don't get any any better training than what we're doing here. Sergeant Daniel Dolchev of the 61st Mechanized Brigade from Karlovo, Bulgaria, is on a mission with the 2nd Squadron, 2nd Striker Cavalry Regiment. We're going to keep moving on because we're under fire, so we won't be on foot. We're going to take cover before going out. This is called a force-on-force -force exercise. Two teams, each made up of combined U.S.-Bulgarian forces, will start out on opposite sides of the training area, and the first to arrive in the middle of the battlefield will take control of a tower and defend it from the opposing team. Is this beginning to sound a lot like a video game? It's closer to a game than you might think. Running behind the scenes is a system known as DICE, the Deployable Instrumentation System Europe, and it's tracking the actions of every participant on the battlefield. Each soldier and vehicle is tracked by a GPS device. Blue are U.S. forces, green are Bulgarian troops, and red is the enemy. Each weapon fires a laser which triggers sensors on vests or vehicles. The results are relayed to a computer network that tracks injuries and deaths. It then sends instant feedback to the soldiers through a speaker on their vests. Staff Sergeant Ramos from the Joint Multinational Training Command based in Grafenbeer, Germany, operates the DICE system from a remote vehicle. He explains that DICE simulates a variety of weapons in battlefield conditions. All right, the hand grenade is just like a real hand grenade. It's a 10, kill, uh, 10 meter kill radius. You pull the pin, let the clip go. If you're in the area, the vest will let you know. With that explosion, wounded right arm. if it's you're wounded, you're dead, or what injuries you have on the battlefield. Back in the scenario, the striker crew has taken casualties. If they aren't treated quickly, then they will register as dead and their weapons will be disabled. We just completed clearing the top of the hill. We have two wounded and the combat lifesavers from the medical striker vehicle are providing first aid and are evacuating them. Next we are mounting on the combat vehicles and continuing to the village. The team treats the casualties, breaches a wired obstacle, and continues on to the mock village to capture a high value target. After the battle, leaders and soldiers can review the recorded scenario at any speed, from a bird's eye view or from the perspective of an individual soldier. This is the third time DICE has been used as part of JTFE in Bulgaria. The DICE system has been in use by U.S. Army Europe since 2002. It is developed by Saab Technologies from Sweden. I think this system would help soldiers going into the battlefield right now because uh, they could see their, their mistakes, they could, they could see their, their well-planned movements, I mean anything. Uh, that they do on the battlefield, they can see from the system, and um, I, I think it's a it's a good asset for the United States Army and whoever and what other army uses it. JTF East is an annual exercise that builds professional partnerships and military interoperability between the U.S. and partner nations Bulgaria and Romania. Reporting from Nova Selo Training Area, Bulgaria, I'm Lieutenant Michael Meyer.